Hello. Today we will learn how to calculate pivot point. Now, in the previous lecture you learned the basics. Now the most popular method of pivot point is high plus low plus close divided by 3. Now let me show you. Let me get calculator. Now on this day, the high is 11.41.36 plus, wait a minute, low is 11.27.02 plus, close is 11.29.19 divided by 3. So the pivot point is 11.32.52. Let me put the line there, horizontal line, 11.32.52. Now, to calculate the R1, that is the first resistance on top. 11.32 multiply by 2 minus low. What is the low here? Let us zoom in so that it can be bigger. Here we go. The low here is 11.27. Wait a minute. Low is 11.27. 0 0.02. So the first resistance comes at 11.38.02. Let us put a line at 11.38.02. Now it's a bit off but you cannot put the line at the exact point. So that's why there is a difference. But let me make this line the boldest. Here we go. Now the line above it, uh, above it is resistance and the line below it will be the support line. Now 1132.52 was pi watt. 1132.52. Now 11.32.52 multiply by 2 minus high. What's the high here? 11.41.36. So it's 11.23.68 as S1. 11.23.68. 11.23. Wait a minute, it's not coming. Okay, 1123, 68, this is very bold. Okay, so now we have found the S1. Now let's find the R2. Now why are we finding? Because once we will be trading that day, we will have an understanding what to do. Now again, we need the pivot point 1132.52 minus S1. We haven't mentioned the S1. Okay, let's calculate it again. 1132.52 multiply by 2 minus high. 1141.36. S1 is 1123.68. S1 is... 11.23.68. Now for R2, we will be minusing 11.32.52 is pi watt minus S1, 11.23.68 plus, what is it? It's R1. We haven't got the number for R1. Let's calculate it again. To calculate R1, we need to have 
multiplied by 2 minus low 113802 113802 and for R2 and S2 for R2 we need to have pi watt minus S1 plus high 114136 so it's 115020 115020 yes and we will be putting a line on it 115020 here we go so this is r1 this is r2 this is s1 and let's put s2 and for s2 it will be r2 minus r1 so here r2 minus s1 r2 is 1150 point 2 minus s1 it's 2652 Minus 2652, 1106. 1106. And we will be putting another line at 1106. Now let's see what happens the next day. The price opens lower, goes down, touches or RS2. Because it opened below the S1. This is the S1 line. It went lower, touched the S2. So once it opened lower uh, below the S1, now as a day trader, you'll be seeing, okay, it has opened lower. So I can see it touching S2. So on S2, you could have bought it. And then the price rises up, up, up. This was a power point. So you would have known that it will stop here. Even if not, then even it went higher and crossed even R1. Now, how do you trade a power point? Now, basically, day traders have different techniques. Now, the most day trader, the professional day traders I'm talking about, not the retail day traders. Professional day traders have a simple formula. They are buying heavy quantities, but they are buying for like cents for lower mark now for an uh, google like stock alphabet inc uh, it has a higher movement it's an 1100 dollar stock so what do you do you don't go for cents you go for dollars because in an 1123 a uh, 1% means 10 11 dollars i believe because 110 is 10% so yeah 11 dollars is 1% so half a percent means 6 dollars so you don't need to trade between cents, you can trade between dollars because the 1% is far bigger. Now, at S1, the price touched 106.60, right? So at S1 or above S1, you would have bought and you would have placed your stop loss on S1. As simple as that. So pivot point can also be used for stop loss. So you'll be buying above the pivot point, uh, above the S1, and putting the stop loss on the S1. So once you have bought, let's say at 107, and the price rises up, so at S, uh, sorry, S2 you bought, so at S1, you'll be selling it. S1 was 1123. So if you bought at 1107, at 1123, that's a brilliant mark. You would have exited. Now, let's see the next uh, day. That is this day. Now on this day the high is 1142.99, the low is 11.0660 and the close is 11.42.11. Now let's calculate the power point first. 11.42.99 plus 11.0660 plus 11.42.11 divided by 3. 
So it comes to 113056. 113056. So this will change to 113056. Then comes S1. S1 is power point multiply by 2 minus high. High is 1142.99. So S1 comes to 1118.13. 1118.13. So this is S1 gets reduced further down then comes R1 R1 is 11 power point multiplied by 2 minus low 1142 11 so it's 1119 0 0.01 I believe there is some mistake on my end 113056 multiplied by 2 minus low 114211. Sorry, that's not the low, that's the close. 110660. So it's 115452. 115452. Let's recheck. 115452. So the R1 comes to 115452. Now this is R2. Now for Next comes R2. For R2, it's power point multiply by 2. Sorry, it's not multiply by 2. It's power point minus S1. 111813 plus high. 114299. So it's 115542. 115542. 115542. Now, if you look at it, R1 and R2 are extremely close. Let's recheck. Have we done something wrong? 113056 minus S1, 111813 plus high. No, it's the correct one. So, we have got R1 and R2 at extreme close proximity. This is our pivot point. This is our S1. Now let's calculate S2. S2 is power point. No, S2 is R2. 1155.42 minus S1. 1118.30. It's 37.39. 37.29. So 1093.27, Now this goes to 1093.27. Now if you look at it, the R1, R2 doesn't have a gap. But on this close, uh, the next day is open, I can buy and like aim for this high. And I can see this as my stop loss point, the power point as my stop loss point. Now let's see what happens next. It opens higher. Rather than going up, it falls. So at the power point, I would have squared. And once it broke the power point, I would have gone short sell. Because that's how the day trader moves from buy to sell. Because once it goes below power point, below power point is short selling mark. Above power point is buying mark so that's exactly what happens once it went lower i would have easily aimed for s1 so power point was 1130 s1 was 1180 so 12 dollars easily i would have lost money by uh, buying but as it opened higher so as a like buyer i won't have bought at such a gap either i would have bought uh, like yesterday or even today I would have waited for it to cross something for as R1 and R2 were extremely close so making money on the high point 
was not possible now buying at such a gap was not recommended now as a day trader usually day traders buy bit at uh, pivot point s1 r1 r2 s2 near these level so that they can place the stop loss at extremely close range you're getting my point uh, because once they buy if it suddenly goes snap down then their losses are limited but if it goes higher their profits have a huge gap because uh, let's say here pivot point is 1130 so s1 is 1118 so they have a huge gap to like get filled so this is how they can like trade easily and make money without any other thing without even fundamentals because they have like levels to trade on so it's simple enough you will trade at a level you'll square it and uh, you will short sell it or you will go on the top you'll buy at a level you will put the stop loss on the uh, pivot point or s1 or r1 whichever level is below it so that your losses are just a limited mark and your profits have a higher like uh, gap that's how you can make good money so this is how you calculate PowerPoint by yourself. Thank you.